So for those of you paying attention, you may have noticed that we are using Venus as the first planet, which is actually not, it's the second planet. The first one is the Mercury. So what uh, the reason I'm doing this is to show you that if you have this type of mistake, you don't have to delete this view and do something else in order to replace it, or you don't have to come here and change it to Mercury and then change the text back for Mercury and change the title. What we are going to do is move this view and then we are going to get another view. So you can just drag out a view controller. I'm going to select the segue here. So let me move my view down so you can see what's going on. So I can select my segue here. I can click delete and now I can position my first view here, which is our Mercury. And then I can click on the button, drag it here and click on show. And this will have our segue. Again, in order to fix the title, I'm going to check it, change it back to push, set the title to Mercury. And let's select our segue and put it back to our normal push. And what I'm going to do is to change the background color to black. And now we are going to add our information here. So let's, uh, let's drag another image view. And again, we're going to set this to 250 on 250. And let's position this in the middle. And then we also need a text view. And we're setting the background color of our text. First, let's set the text color to white and background color to black. And now I can select my image view here, say Mercury. And my text, I will go to my, let's see where my text is. And let's copy the text about Mercury. And I'm going to double click and Command V to paste my text here. So when you pass a bigger text here, my text view uh, automatically becomes bigger, but we can just take and drag with these buttons here to, in, to change the size. And also let's set it to be justified as the previous one. What we need here is another button. So we can go from our Mercury to our Venus. So uh, we have two options here. The first one, we can drag the text up a bit and put a button here. So you would just say we just drag a button here and let's call this one next. So if I double tab on it, call it next and let's make it all capital. And we are going to change the color to be white and background to be this gray. So it's the same with our pattern there. And uh, also let's change the text to be bigger and semi bold. So it's kind of 17 points here. We can uh, enlarge this to be full view here and now if I click and drag to my Venus and I click on show it will automatically remember the title we had set and it will automatically show the rest of the information so if I run my project now if I click enter I have about Mercury I can scroll this, read the information, then I click next, 
I go to the Venus. Then I can get back to Mercury and read information about Mercury if I want to. So let's see the second option of our button. And if we open our library, I'm going to get a bar button item. So what is bar button item? Bar button item is the same button. It just we put this on the top or at the bottom for our navigation area. So when you want to put a button on top with our navigation, you cannot take a button and put on top. You have to use the bar button. And when we are using bar buttons, by default, we have some uh, custom buttons here, which is provided by Apple. So you can click on add and it becomes a plus. You can click on edit. I can click on done. And the good thing about these buttons, when you are using a system type, uh, is like if you change uh, your application, your operating system language, let's say you are using English and you change it to Spanish, this button will be translated automatically for you since you are using the system uh, buttons. So um, right now, uh, let's see, we can use like fast forward, which is kind of showing the next, but what we are going to do is just keep it custom and the title is going to be next. So now we have a next button here and I can drag from it again holding control to my view here and click show. Now you see we have two segues and when I click on each segue it shows that to which button it's linked to. When I click this one it shows that it's linked to the next on top and this button is linked to the next at the bottom. In my case, I'm going to remove the next at the bottom. So I can actually make my text view here bigger. And also our button there on top will be nicely done out of view. And we can also put some kind of arrow. If you want to, it's actually good to keep it just next. So it's up to you what you want to call your button there. You can actually even download an image and set it there. We are going to do this later on. Or this type of arrow it shows back. So um, now we have our second view ready. Actually, we second view was initially ready, so we set the first one. So what we need to do is uh, just make our views consistent. So the text and images are on same height. This uh, you can do using our uh, measurement here. So when you select your uh, image, it says the position is 6282 and this one is 62 and 86. So let's set it to 82, which is moving a bit up. And for our text field, uh, text view here, our position is 16 on 340. And let's see, this is 16 on 344. So let's see, set it to 340. And the height here is 307 and this one is 303. So we can set it to 307 as well. 307. So now our views are exactly identical. And if I rerun and if I move from one view to another view, you will see that it just uh, we have a feeling that the, the views are not up and down. So for, uh, for the eye, it's consistent. It just loads. You see how uh, it's like putting another card on top of our stack. And when we want to go back, it just removed the top card. And now this is the top card. And if I click one more time, this is our top card now. This is our navigation controller, navigation stack. And currently it has three views. This is the first one. This is the second one we put, and this is the third one. So I'm going to pause the video here. Your task is to create the remaining two planets. Uh, it's going to be Earth and Mars. And uh, this is a small challenge. It's pretty simple. You just have to do whatever we did with these two. And uh, in next lecture, we're going to continue it together.